All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem Rakakodas. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And a sincere Shalom to all the Akiyam out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, the title of this video, okay, is Vexed with the Conversation or the Filthy Conversation of the Wicked. Okay. Um, I'm just go ahead and jump into the scriptures. Second Peter two and six, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after shall live ungodly. And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Okay, now the word vexed is of a problem or issue difficult or much debated prob problematic okay um, in dispute contested and contention contentious debated okay controversial difficult okay uh, thorny okay even ticklish okay because sometimes you look at certain people and you 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 hear that that um, conversation or the words that come out of that mouth, and you just you know think or, or or laugh sometimes like yo this motherfucker wicked as shit man, you know. They might be saying a joke in a in a uh, funny manner, right? It might be a, a a homosexual, okay? A homosexual may make a joke, but then the whole time everybody else that's around may be laughing at it because they may think that it's funny or or worldly. But when you laugh at it, you just think like this this nigga is a fucking demon. You know? And and that's that's similar to what Lot had to go through and um when he was in Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? When when he left, okay, and basically didn't look back, he ain't wanna go back to that to that bullshit. And it's the same way of how we are in, in this kingdom, okay? These people out here are, are, are straight up wicked, okay? Don't know what you believe in, okay? I'm talking about like random people. Don't know what you believe in, but they 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 sitting up there yet, you know, trying to force their beliefs, I guess, you know? Or, or making it seem like everybody believe in the same thing. Like, for example, today is Monday, June the 18th, so-called, okay, which people, you know, they, they, they go by this calendar, okay, which is a man-made calendar, but yesterday, okay, June the 17th, was supposed to be so-called Father's Day, and there's a lot of people that was walking around, you know, saying, Happy Father's Day, and then you told them, hey, I don't got no children, Oh, oh, but you got you got uh, nieces and nephews and you know, but that's not my fucking children. It, it, the the point is that it's a, if it's supposed to be Father's Day, why are you sitting up there telling women Happy Father's Day also? You know, which is all just man-made bullcrap. But the fact is that you know these people they saying these things and they don't even know what the heck you believe in, and then. You got you got family and friends who who may um, know what you believe in, and they still do some some wicked shit and say some things, man. Okay, I know you don't celebrate Christmas, but guess what? I'm a, I'm gonna wish you Christmas, Merry Christmas anyway. You know, or 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 some people they sit up there and they say that that Jesus word, okay, all all the time. And they don't even know what you believe in. You know? So you, you may sneeze and somebody may say bless you. And it's like, okay, what what what, what, bless, what blessing is, is you going to, you know, give give somebody what you know? What God that you serve is going is going to bless bless me, man. You know? Because these people, you know, they demonic, man. You know, and it just makes you think that, you know, the, that, that type of way. Okay. It says, for that righteous man dwelling among them 
and seeing and hearing, okay, you gotta see the the wickedness of these people, and you gotta hear the 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 the, the, the wicked conversation that these people be having. It says, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Okay, we gotta see this 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 madness every single day. Okay, in the, in America, which is known as Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, and here go the thing. Like, if you speak out against it, you you're, you're considered wrong, which we know according to the Bible that um, you know there are proverbs and stuff like that. You know, holding your peace and um, you know, not really getting into it with with somebody. You know, because um, with the scriptures, the scriptures talk about like reproving a scorner. You know what I'm saying? Because these people are, are, are scorners and they don't know what the hell they believe in. That's why when we go out on the highway and hedges or we do videos, that's like a release, you know, from, from all of the, the madness that's around us, man. Okay? And we, we able to find comfort in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Because that's the only way we're going to be comforted in this, this society, man. You know? Because we got to deal with this this filth this filthy conversation man the word filthy okay strong g 766 as el gaya as el gaya as el gaya okay which means unbridled lust excess <laughs> and it, hey it's deep, man. Like this, this whole world word right here, man, is deep, man. Because, hey, you you could be out with your, you know, or, or or a guy could be out with his woman, wherever at a at a store, just walking down the street, and you got niggas that are, that are just be looking at your at your woman, man. You know, and you got to see this 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 type of stuff, and you just wanna. Wanna wanna be like yo? I wanna you know fuck this nigga up, man, for just you know being disrespectful. You know. You see you see the the, the man right there with with the woman, but you wanna sit up there and you wanna look at the woman ass and all type of shit, man. You know, and that that's that's the the, the type of uh mindset that this society puts you in, man. You know. Then it says excess. People don't know when to when to stop. Okay? And it's too much because Satan, he know he know the uh the spirit that uh that that brothers be having, you know? And and, and sometimes it just be like, you know, it, it just comes at you full steam, you know? Uh then it says uh licentious, okay, which is promiscuous or unprincipled in sexual matters. Okay, and um, especially when it comes down to to the so-called black woman. Okay, I was at a at a job. Okay, or, or at my job, and um, you know, just overhearing a conversation at at the job, this woman was talking about how her her child ended up getting um getting uh, molested at, as a child, okay? And then she also brought out the fact that her boyfriend got molested also. So now you sitting up here bringing out all this information about your child and your, 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 your boyfriend at work to, to people, okay, who may see them and they just got that mind, they just be thinking... Like yeah, this, you know this. You know he got molested. That's why he act like that. You know, cause these people don't don't have no discernment, man. Okay. But but you gotta hear the conversation of of women and and niggas talking about you know trying to run trains on women and you know just just being wicked, man. Okay. Uh, lasciviousness. Okay. Look up that, cause this is this all goes into to basically being um um 
filthy, okay? Which goes back to unbridled lust, okay? Wantonness, outrageousness, okay? And a lot of these people are drunk off the philosophies of this world, man, okay? Esau done, done gave our people some some very, very, very strong drink, man, okay? That shit got like 99% nine alcohol up in it, man, okay? And these people are, are just, you know, are gone, man. It says shamelessness, insolence, okay? Continuing on, Malachi 3 and 15. And now we call the proud happy, right? Yeah. Oh, guess what? When 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 you see it say now we call the proud happy, right? Another word for happy is gay, and they have a a, a gay pride, proud, or gay pride, which was uh, also this weekend. Okay, people out here uh, uh, are supposed to you know be calling these people um, happy because they're proud to do wickedness, man. And basically, it's to the point where you can't even tell somebody the truth without somebody getting upset. Okay? Yeah, we, you know, there's a saying that the truth hurts. Okay? But the, the fact is that if the shoe fits, wear it. You know? See, if somebody said that um, any of the men of the Lord was a faggot, okay, and I'm talking about the elect. Are you a faggot? A man of the Lord ain't gonna be getting offended, okay? About about a lie or or about the truth, okay? You're not going. We're not going to get offended. But when you call a, a a homosexual a faggot, they get caught up in their feelings, you know? And 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 one of it, hey, they don't have no no uh no real protection other than Esau. Okay, see, see the, the, the men of the Lord, they know that their protection is from the Lord, man. Okay, it says, they that work wickedness are set up. <clears throat> yeah, they that tempt God are even delivered. And a lot of these people tempt God every day, man. Every single day, as soon as they wake up, you know. And the Lord just, just ready to get at these people, man. Okay. And he's going to let loose, man. Okay? Yeah, he's being patient right now for the elect's sake. Okay? Not for these niggas and, and, and demons, man. It says, Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him, for, before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Right? Which, you're not going to see the name Jesus anywhere in the Old Testament, okay, the name was Yahweh, okay, the Most High, and name, his son name is Yahweh Shah, it says, and they that, and they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, and that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them, as a man spares his own son that serves him, then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serve God, God and him that serves not and waking up to this truth and you hearing this filthy conversation you can definitely see someone who doesn't serve the Lord and who and someone who does man okay because these people got the world on them man Psalms 119 and 158 I beheld the transgressors and we and was grieved because they kept not your word and here go the thing you know is is we will hope that they, they would keep the word. If they kept the word, then they would be all, be good, man. Okay? But they, they don't. Because they, they cast the word behind them. Okay? And and these people are destroyed for, for ignorance, man. Okay? Consider how I love your precepts. Quicken me, O Yahweh, according to your loving kindness. Your word is true from the beginning. And and we able to go into go into you know how the truth was was 
was the word was the truth from the beginning. Okay? Like for the the fact that there are many different languages out here. Okay, where was the first language? Okay? All of this this man made bullshit out here, man. You know? These these demons. Okay? It says in every one of the in every one of your righteous judgments endure for, endures forever. Okay, and that judgment is about to come again, man. Okay, Ezra 9 and 14. Should we again break your commandments and join in affinity with the people of these abominations? Right? So, the word affinity, to become a son-in-law, make oneself a daughter's husband. Okay? To join, basically join in together, man. Okay? Being being hand in hand with these 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 wicked people, man, and you gotta wonder like how can somebody come into this truth and just fall out? You know, when you gotta hear about this this wickedness every day. It says, "What is not thou be angry with us till thou hast consumed us, so that there shall be no re no remnant or es nor escaping." If if every one of us went back into the world, okay, and joined together with these wicked motherfuckers, you know, you don't think that the Lord going to destroy you? Okay? Um I'm going to get this last scripture and I'm going to end it. Psalms 11 and 6. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. Okay? A lot like these people that are wicked, okay, demons. You know, when they sit up there and they, they, they speak to you or they say something and you look at you look at them, you just be like, yo, this nigga got you got fuck this is this ain't Whoever that, that 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 the government name of that person is, that that person doesn't exist. That's just the demon that you're talking to. You know, and and that demon just manifested itself, man, in that in that person's uh being. Okay, and that and it's you know it's just there, man. Okay. So so these people. That are wicked, okay, and, and and got these horrible deeds that with them, they're gonna be destroyed, man, okay, and the Lord is gonna destroy them, and 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 they they deserve it. But guess what? They're gonna come back as the 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 children of the elect, and they're gonna be in their right mind, okay. But right now, these people are, are drunk. They're dead, and I and I see why Ezekiel was looking at these people and and, and was wondering if they, you know, uh, could could uh, you know, be be born, okay, basically or, or or come wake up, you know, when when he said, "Can these bones live, man? These people are just bones, man. You know, dry dry bones, man. Okay." So with that, man, I want to say Salawam.